Hi, everyone. Okay, I'm live now. Hi, Gracie. Yeah, okay. It's 10 minutes. It's about eight minutes to four. And Ian told me um, he's ready when I'm ready. So he should be here. Or at least we were supposed to start around four, but I just started a little bit early. How did you make it? How did, how did you make a comment when I had not even gone live yet? What was it? It was it was listed on my I don't understand. It was listed on my um channel, even though I wasn't live yet. Hi everybody. So today we're having guest artist Ian Jackson, like we have every Friday. It's like Ian watercolor for watercolor Ian for I don't know. We have to think of a good name for it. Ian Watercolor for Ian Jackson Watercolor Friday. It would be it would be better if it would just says it was like Ian Jackson Watercolor Wednesday. So it's kind of weird, like um trying to trying to think of a good name for it. Because he's here most every Friday, four to six PM Eastern Standard Time. Watercolor painter extraordinaire. Oh, hi, Grayscale Painting. Yeah, hi. So, yeah, we're we're waiting for Ian. I I started a little early. Actually, he um messaged me around half an hour ago saying he's ready when I'm ready. But I wasn't gonna start until exactly four o'clock. But I decided, okay, I'm gonna start like a few minutes early. So, so um, Grayscale Painting, are are you doing painting this weekend? Painting on your own or painting like on live streams, Facebook or YouTube live streams. One one of my friends said, if you're going to do art, you might as well live stream it. Every little bit, every I mean, every little bit of um, watch time helps. And you don't need to do anything extra. You might as well live stream it if you're going to be doing um, any artwork anyway. Oh, who else is here? Okay, I got to bring up... I. I got to bring up, oops, I got to bring up the, um, we're waiting for Ian Jackson, watercolor painter extraordinaire, but instead of me trying to read the chat right here, I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to bring up the chat on my iPad. It's much easier for me to read because I do have a, a vision disability. There we go. Look at me, looking at that. Okay. So I may go live this weekend. Yes. Oh, you might go live this weekend. Yeah, me too. Oh. But I'm trying to make, I'm trying to start it like a really good, interesting video series. So it's really kind of tough right now. I'm really trying to, I've been like looking at all these YouTube videos about all the advice they give. For making your channel better and i'm like my head is spinning it's like okay so trying to implement some of those things that they say they're saying and coming up with a new series for the month of november which is going to be actually a, i think a fun series and um but it won't come out till wednesday wednesday you're going to see it and um I'm going to be sticking to a schedule of video po uploading videos every Wednesday. My live streams are usually Wednesdays and Sundays, and then I do impromptu live streams in between that. So, li live stream like live stream art for me, live stream, me live stream art painting or arting. Um, okay, here's Ian, and um, Wednesdays and Sundays. 
at 4 p.m. or maybe sometimes a little earlier. And then if it's in, be and if there's any extra ones, I do them like impromptu. So here's Ian. What, 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 what's going on? Oops, he dropped out. He does have a little bit of problem with his internet. Um, he was here, but let's say, let's say. Yeah, but I don't see it. Wait, there, where, where, let's say. Yes, he's saying hello. Hold on. Hi. Hey, yeah, I'm it. Uh huh. Wow, what the, the zebra looks like you already finished it. No, it's, it's a photograph. Oh, that's the photograph. <laughs> I thought you, I thought you like to work from the um screen, like from the. Mm -hmm. you, you like to work from the monitor because the colors are better. I, 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 I will I will be. It's just that uh, this week I've been working on getting me getting me um. My printer working because it's not been working recently, so yeah. I managed to get it working. It's one giant step for tech kind. One that big. Press for Ian. How big is that? How big is that print? A four. What's that? Eleven. That's is that eleven by yeah, four? Eleven, eleven by eight. Is it something like that? Eight by oh, like eight and a half by eleven. That yeah, yeah that's how right. big my printer is. That, but that looks yeah. even bigger. That looks like eleven by fourteen or something. No, it's just normal A4 size, uh, standard printer. Right. Input. So it, it, you can't actually really see the um, the drawing uh, very well. So I just thought I'd put that there. So we see right. what we're doing. That's what we're doing yeah. today. But are we live? Yes, we're live. Uh, I started yeah. a little early. I started like at but, ten off. Right. So the question is this week is do we do it like that in a realistic way? Or do we yeah. do it mega colours? Like and do a rainbow, a, like rainbow a, zebra. A, a, rain, a rainbow, a rainbow zebra or zebra. Because it's two. Oh really? That's the plural? <laughs> no. I just made it up. Oh, so it's probably zebras. 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 Zebra. Actually, it's probably, just, probably just zebra. Like sheep is sheep in plural. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, right. And deer. Deer is one no, you deer. Can't, you can't say, you can't, deer. It's still plural. It, deer. It, 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 in plural as well, but you can still say deer. Uh, for yeah, both. one deer or two deer. You don't say what deers, two deers. Yeah, but it can still be two. If I said deer, that might be more than one. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it, it can be deer. single or it, plural. It, it, it can be single or plural, mm -hmm. or both. That uh, that's a lot of times what makes the English language crazy for people to learn because there's a well, lot of it, it, it is it's context. It's contextual, isn't it? A lot of things. Yeah, yeah, like contextual. Yeah, it is. It's a very contextual to know what yeah. what word something what something what word something means. So the the, the question is to our dear watchers today yeah. is: Do it? Do we do this crazy colors, or we're going to do uh, a realistic set of colors? It's realistic or something like multicolored rainbow zebras what's your vote what's your vote everybody black and white zebras or multicolored zebras i'm just going to get myself set up with um with youtube so i can see what you were all doing hi chrissy hi chrissy canvas art hi chrissy Chrissy, oh, so many times I've said hello to her and she did, She told me I didn't say hello. So mm -hmm. I always try to make it a point. Hi, Chrissy, go. Canvas Art. <laughs> there you go. You've had your official welcome, Chrissy. Yeah, Chrissy, I, I said hello loud and clear. She's going to laugh. Nordic Crafting is here. Sleaze Tech Rules mm -hmm. is here. And, oh, uh, cut that off. 
let's clip this out and i'm gonna okay we're gonna... taking a vote okay we need we're taking a vote should he do black and white striped zebras or should he do no. multicolored striped zebras so put black and a bit more or a bit more colored. fantasy world you know like colorful yeah that's what i like world i love or, 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 or do we want to do a, a faithful reproduction of it in black and white okay black and white or multicolored so put it in the, put it in the chat um, everybody I'm gonna, voting. i'm just gonna pop you all out there you are you are now popped out Oh, okay. that now. Says she wants just all pink stripes, so we'll put her in the multicolor. Well, that's multicolor. Well, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can um, look at that uh, oh, in a minute. Once we've had a, 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 a roll. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh no! Grace, Gracie Shack says black and white. Just Grace black and white. Says black and white. All okay, right. Maria, Maria looks, looks, looks like, so colorful. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to count these votes. Oh, you might have oh to put god, the, the, you, you might have to put the final vote in. Can you, well, Ian? Can you see the chat? Um, I, I'm getting to it now. <sighs> I get it. You know what? You guys uh, now just confusing for me because it's too close. It's almost like it's almost like it's going to be a, a tie unless I well, count. Remember Unless what I we said about a, about a tie? Uh, you have the casting vote, don't you? Me? Okay. Yeah. Uh, wait, I have, have to host. see if a tie. Or it could be just one person over. Well, let's have a look. Oh, my God. You know what? what? I'm going to take screenshots. I'm going to take screenshots and count. That way, I, that. Cause, um, um, I don't know where I've put my thing now. It's there. Right. So that needs to go down a little bit because I don't need that that much. Uh, I need me right. Oh, let's have a look. Black and white, black and white. So Gracie wants black and white. Wait a minute, I'm right. taking a screenshot to make sure I get everybody. Chrissy, uh, pink. Can you get a piece of paper, Ian. Can you get a piece of paper right now? And I'm going to yeah. tell you who wants multicolored, who wants black and white. Well, I'll just, I'll, uh, I'll I'll make it B or C. B R C. Okay, Chrissy. Chrissy. Okay. Chrissy's vote is Chrissy Cam's art vote is for colored. She wants pink yeah, stripes. Yeah, colored, isn't it? Yeah, fair it's enough. Yeah, right. That's multi so, colored. You got that. One? I just commented on the piece. Mm. I need back, and, back and white. Uh, okay, sorry. Back just white. hold on. So uh, at the moment we've got we've got uh, uh, Slee Stack wants. Um, okay, hold on. But you don't have to put their names. Slee Stack wants black and white. Right. Black and white. Gracie, yeah, just not, wants, Gracie, wants, Gracie black wants black and white. And white. That's black and white. Grayscale wants black and white. Grayscale, oh, that's free. Oh. Okay, um, hold on. Uh, now, Maria, uh, Maria, Maria wants color. Wait a minute. Maria Miscellany wants color. Color. And welcome, Maria Miss Elliott. I think it should oh, be. Oh God, she thinks it should be spotted. I think it no, should be spotted. No. That's a different. Uh, that's not an option. <laughs> Kathleen, <laughs> please tell us: colorful zebra mm. stripes or black well, and Kathleen. white? It would be quite strange to have it. No, it'd be a it'd be a pony, wouldn't it? If it was spotted, really? Or no, a, a leopard or something. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, Kath lol spotted. Uh, that's lol, not a no, color. No, pink, pink, uh, for you, Chrissy. No, no, he's just joking. Um, uh, Chris comes out. I want pink. Um, uh, black, black and Kathy, white, please. If black you've already voted, don't, don't say it again, or I'm going to be confused. I, I'm keeping track of that. Uh, okay. Kathleen, we're waiting on your vote. Do you black want and black and white zebra or col multicolored zebra? It looks like I know, it's, voted twice. It's, I saw it's, that. It's, it's um, it's it looks like it's gonna be. Oh, wait a minute, Chrissy. No, no, crap. Pink, I, I get what. They're just repeating themselves. Um. Oh, here we go. Nordic crafting oh, with black and white. Yeah, black and white. It looks like the majority are wanting black and white, guys. So we're going to go with uh, 
We're gonna go with. Uh, uh, that's a shame, but it, you, you could you, you could you could do it in a very colourful way if you wanted. Although that wouldn't be realistic in any kind of way, obviously. I so, can't ah, but but there's always opportunity to put colour in. Your Wait a minute. Wait, here's Kat. No, Kathleen just said. She just keeps no. laughing and said, "Spotted is an option." LOL. She's not. Uh, she's not voting. Well, well, well. No, no spotted is not a vote. It has to be colorful or black and white. Those mm. were leopard. No, and then Grace. I'm, 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 I'm not doing. I'm not doing pointillism today. <laughs> he said, "There's um." Grayscale painting says there th those are rare leopard zebras. Uh, mm, rare spotted zebras. I thought about putting a, 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 a like a unicorn uh, on on them, a, a unicorn zebra. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> no, we're gonna we're gonna leave it like that, and uh, if we get done a bit quick, uh, I've got a little extra bonus. Thing that we Wait can do. Wait a minute! We just got here, Mystic. Mystic. Well, the, they're all have? they're already about five two up. Uh, five, those who want five to what? Two. Oh well. All right. So Mystic Unicorn's vote wouldn't even matter, right? And my yeah. vote. My vote's for collar. Well, Put my vote down. Collar. Your yours good goes down if if we get to a tie. Oh, you mean my vote? No, you don't take my vote unless there's a tiebreaker. You can, you can. Uh, yeah, yours, yours is the uh, tiebreaker, isn't it? So you're you're not taking my vote, or you are? Well, I put it down there. It's now it's now oh, five okay. to three. And then Mystic, oh, let's say, hold on, Mystic. Do you want him to do a black and white zebra or a multicolored like multicolored like rainbow zebra? Oh, Kathleen voted. She wants like unicorn collars. What's unicorn colors? Well, you it's it's more than black and white. <sighs> Controversial. Wait a minute. Oh, that's, that, 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 that's no. Colorful. Colorful. Oh well, it's five all, but you've already put your thing in, haven't you? Wait a minute. It's 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 five to five now. It's five to five now. But I, if it, uh, but then I can't do anything because I, I already put my vote in. Put one in. You see, that's the reason why you shouldn't have put it in. All right, take mine out. Take mine out. <laughs> you can't. Take it's, mine it's, out, and I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for mine to be a tiebreaker. Is there anybody else before we start who, who wants a colourful one? Oh no, Gracie changed her vote. Has she? All right then. Fair well, that, well, that well that that swears it that swears it in the colourful side then. I don't know if people can change their but that's too confusing. Well, it's not over until it's over, is it? So it's up to you, Ian. Do you want Ian, you are you gonna let Gracie change her vote? I, I'm happy. It, 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 uh, what, uh, I'm I'm prepared to do whichever one is necessary. So what? Uh, oh, JC, JC just got here. JC, you need to vote. JC, do you want him? Do you want Ian to paint a black and white zebra or this a multi like a multicolored rainbow zebra? Which one? This is it. This this is the yellow yeah, the name. You're the tiebreaker. You're going to be the tiebreaker vote. Oh no no, I'm the tiebreaker vote. Whatever. So no, I mean, Jay whatever JC goes, we will go in with. Okay, JC. JC, let us know. Black and white zebra. Do you want him to paint black and white zebra? Okay, we're waiting for JC. Black and white zebra or colorful zebra. Oh my God, she wants black and white. Yay. Right, here we go. Um, I can't believe so many people wanted black and white. Right, so why? that does not why? mean that does, why? Not, that does not mean to say we're going to do a boring black and white picture. Okay. 
Um, if you think about it, they are a bit boring uh, zebras, aren't they? They're like they, they can be, they can be like you know, very graphic. So, if you know what I mean, like oh, right, oh, yeah. black and white. A, a bit so when you think, illustration. So what do you gonna, think? You would jazz it up with like different shades of gray. Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. It, it, it's good. It's not going to be one light line of black to illustrate a particular area. It's going to be tonally different all the way around it. And, and then can can you do like like shades of like? No, that well, wouldn't. Uh, lavender yeah. gray. I was going to say like lavender no, well, gray. Um, how how do you? In watercolor, how do you produce black? Do, it, there's two ways to produce black. You either use black, orange and blue, purple and yellow, which, red well, and green. This is what I'm saying. At the yeah. end of the day, you, you either use a black or you use colors that combine to make very dark colors that look like black. Oh, yeah. Grayscale, he's in acrylic. So, he knows that very well. Um, Never, he doesn't use black. I, I think he uses a bunch of different colors to create black. Well, unfortunately, unless you're doing very graphic illustration and stuff like that, black tends to be too flat. So what artists tend to do is um, use combinations of dark colors to make your eyes see black. So that's what we're going to do today. But I'm going to do it with several different colors. All right, I'm put okay. Let me one. big screen. Mm -hmm. Yep, because I need to set myself up once you've done that. Right, Ooh. is that okay? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Are we ready, everybody? <laughs> then I'll begin. Right, first thing we've got to do, right? We, we have to, we, I'll put the image up here. And we can see it uh, as best we can, right? You've got a back. There's three zones. There's a background that's all fuzzed out. Right next, we've got a foreground animal there. This foreground animal, and then directly behind it, uh, we've got this other zebra, which is still in the same plane of uh, focus. But what I'm going to do is fuzz this one out and bring that very sharply into focus and that background is going to be completely fuzzed out because although it's interesting I, I think it's actually detracting from the main thing which is there oh we have that there's something going on in the chat Cr chrissy canvas art says she's not listening i don't know what that's supposed to mean she's You're not, still listening. not listening L L L lol she's still not listening i don't know what that's supposed to mean i don't know Chris, are you talking about me did i did i not catch something no gracie night fi uh, fixed lol uh fix uh, Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy saying it's a fix 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 oh, I, I might introduce some pink into it for you chrissy because I know how you like your... Me too. I love pink. Colors. Well, I might introduce a little bit of pink. Oh, oh yeah. Before we, go, before, before, we, um, before we go any further, this is the painting from last week that I finished off. Uh, you might think, well, what have you done, Ian? Uh, round here, I've, I've, I've splattered and done a lot more branches. Uh, I've done a bit of detailing round there and there. And I've darkened that area and that area. And that were all that were needed to be done. But that's the uh, last week's painting. Now, before we go any further, I'm working on uh, 140 pound, that's 300 gram uh, knot paper made by Heine Mule, and it's cotton. I have a question about when you put like on those, those bowl clip, the bowl clips, the bowl paper clip. Yeah. The bowl clip you paint around them later on after you take them off like what do you do paint over paint over the the empty yeah, spot i mean you can actually see where i've been on these very lightly but what you, you thing is that with watercolors 
you're not going to see first five millimeters anywhere. Okay. Uh, because that generally gets that's where you connect it to um, a mat. If you know what I mean. Oh, there you go. You're painting it right next to last week's painting. Yeah. And I like to have you added blue in the water. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's had blue oh, in the water yeah. before. It's it's a... Zach. Right. Uh, but first things first, we, we need to get this background fluffed out. So I'm going to wet that and I'm going to go right to where uh, the mane on the horse is there. So all that's going to get wetted out because it's out of focus, that. All of that. Oh, that, that's uh, something. Oh, my goodness. About. Chrissy Canvas Art keeps going on. I think she's going on about it. It was not a fair vote. <laughs> it's, it's so <laughs> well, I tell you what, Chrissy, I, I'll have another go at this just for you. What? Uh, and I'll do and, and I'll I'll uh, later on. And I'll do it pink for you, pink and black, just for you. And I put it in your group. Is that all right? I love pink. I love. I would love seeing pink and black too. It might be a nice color. Right. So. Right. I've uh, I've wetted out the area that I want to um, make fuzzy and soft. By just putting water on it, and the background is like a, a, a like a grey green colour. So let's obviously, because when you when you're painting background, you don't want to be putting strong colours in background. Oh my so, goodness, Chrissy Canvas's um, husband voted, and he had voted for colourful. Well, she's telling us that now, or maybe we missed it. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. We're only in the middle of doing it. That's what she's complaining. So, we missed it. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see. Um, I didn't see that. I didn't either. see Dave's um, vote. Did he come in on Chris's or something? No, he didn't come in like as a channel. She's uh, she's just reporting. That's what he voted. Oh, all right. So he just said that, all right? So I've got this horrible khaki green, right? But that's perfect. Absolutely perfect for what we want. Um, slightly, slightly dry. And it needs to be around that bit there. Dead rough, not faffing about here. Around there, I think. Oh. Is that everything? And then Chris is saying, no, I said at the beginning of this vote. I don't know what she's talking oh, about. Her husband, you know, know. husband voted at the beginning and we missed it. Oh, sorry. She said I'll do what you're right. You guys didn't uh -huh. you guys didn't see it. Yeah. Oh, well, God. I didn't I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. You're saying that I might have me what they call it on. I might only have what they call it. Um, then we're, we're going to like blip, blob, blip, blob. And that, oh, for that bit of the background. Some excitement in here, like a, some, uh -huh. some good some numbers of uh, people in here. Mega controversy. Yeah. Vote rigging. How dare they? <laughs> And Grace got paintings laughing. <laughs> It'll be nice anyway. We've got to, uh, anyway, that's that done, right? So while that's, because we're wanting like a fuzzy, um, a fuzzy bit to this, I keep wanting to call it an arse. In theory, and I have looked this up, apparently it is an arse. I didn't think it were an arse. I know, I know Chris is going to say something like, She's a, a Gracie, Gracie, I see what you're saying about, you know what happened? A, what? Uh, I had not even gone live, but I had it all set up. What? I had this oh. set up and all of a sudden a Gracie came in the chat. How did that happen? I didn't, I wasn't even live. I don't know. You must have, it must have gone live. 
Grace, you know, Grace I think, is in the chat. I've, I've, I've noticed that happen before. Actually. No, I had not gone live. Uh, somebody else has done that uh, with the going live. I think it's, it's I guess I guess it's possible to do it before going live, I guess. Well you shouldn't do it because it doesn't start broadcasting until you press the go live button. I know, and he, but here's she well, whatever, I don't know how that well, happened. I mean it, it might it might be a glitch. Uh I know somebody else who that has happened to. So I and Mystic Unigon's gonna have her live stream after mine today. Go to, what, oh, what yeah, you don't yeah, want to be doing is saying, them, them, oh, them, Mystic, them. I mean, Miss, I'm not missing you. Not Purple Paisley Planner. We're going to raid your channel. Oh. Um, I mean, if we have enough people, I mean, I, I don't. I, I mean, dwindle down to two people, and then you know that's no good. But if we have a decent amount of people, we'll go over and raid your channel once you get started up and up and running. Right, you know, right. So part of colours that exist uh, on a, on a, um, I keep wanting to call it a unicorn. I don't know why. Because <laughs> you're going to paint it like one. Hi, Maria Delaney. Welcome to the stream. I don't think I've seen you in here before. Welcome. So, um, right, we've got that bit, that area, the background, um, zebra we've got the background all wetted in there so i'm, I'm gonna get a fairly strong because that's also gonna be um channel oh um, great. I'm sorry. out of out of focus and and soft I, i'm just gonna put a gray together gray so i'm, I'm, I'm burnt umber and um ultramarine blue to make a, a a black and then i'm going to water it down really heavily heavily so it, it makes like a gray color oh grayscale painting you never heard of the, i don't think he's ever heard of the term of channel rating before oh my goodness oh. you've never had your oh, channel yeah. before my yeah. first my first my first my very first raid that somebody rated my channel was the channel god the good one he's from the uk god the good one Right. And they called it a God raid. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then I went on to raid a few people's channel. I, I raided Lisa Conway's channel. I raided uh, Megan Fox's channel. And then after, besides that, I forget about it because um, by the time, a lot of times, lately, by the time my live streams have end, are coming to an end, they've dwindled down to like not nobody. So like you can't do a raid then. Right. You have to have like a decent amount, you know, like seven to ten well, people. Seven more people for a road. road. So all you do with with those is um is, is somebody puts up uh a code in the chat to go to a channel that's live. Yeah. And just a link, watch. not a code. Oh. A link. That's it. Look, well, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we've got that like grayed in and just remember it's it's going to be a lot lighter so and just to make sure it is uh i tell you what i haven't set up i haven't set up me um me eat gun which i think i may need oh okay oh and if you haven't if you haven't uh, uh, heard the news I'm, I'm disappointed with uh, Facebook because we've had an, a natural disaster in our area. And did they put Ian is safe? No, they didn't. Really? No. What? What? What was the natural disaster? We've had major flooding in our area. Oh God. We can't get out of our village because bridge that we have to cross over to get into real world uh, is flooded. So are you saying you're oh are you saying you're quitting Facebook or you're just dis, you're no, you just, I'm just I'm, you know a, a minor disaster anywhere else in the world and it's news all over the place isn't it uh, yeah put it, in, put it in Durham Valley and what have you nobody cares a monkey 
Well, hi, Dina. Dina Thompson's here. Hi, Dina. Right, so we've got we've got as lightish. We missed the vote. We had a very controversial vote. Yeah, we had yeah vote. very controversial. Very controversial, yes. I, I, I'm actually, it, it was so controversial, I'm wanting to distance myself from it. Oh, my goodness. I, I, might, even, well, I, I might even, I might even at the end of this, um, at the end of this uh, painting session, impeach. Oh, come on. Let me explain what it was. So the controversial vote was whether mm. he could paint black and white striped zebras or colorful, like cr colorful, like rainbow colored zebras. And, mm -hmm. and, and the vote, and almost a tie. It was almost a tie, well, head, to head, to head to head, but black and white won. And I'm like disappointed because oh. I, I wanted colorful. I wanted rainbow color um, zebra. All, all, all flower plow. Flower power generation wanted rainbow colored ones, didn't they? <laughs> I don't know. I think some of those people from flower power generation were voting otherwise, also. Hey, not that there's out wrong with flower power generation. I almost come from it. Almost. I, hey, I, interesting I, fact about Ian. Ian uh, this is a new, new thing on the show. Interesting fact about oh Ian. My Jackson. Guess, oh, I'm sorry. Guess what Dina uh, would have voted? Black what? and white. Oh well, that 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 saves the day, then, doesn't it? Because that's what we're doing. <laughs> Dang. Oh, I've not put the thing up, have I? That's that's the reason why I'm struggling. Oh, oh, oh. Just a second, guys. I must get myself organised. Where's my zebras? Oh, there you are. Oh my goodness, Christy Campus are saying they ignored. Me. Mutley's vote. Who's that? Her dog? No, that's that's. Oh, that's, is that uh, for her husband? That's, that's Chrissy's Chrissy's uh, right hand man. Oh, the, oh, that's um Nick. Okay, that's his name. I'm sorry. It is. That okay? Sorry, Mutley. But anyway, it's all right because I'm gonna I'm gonna repaint this right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. As a, a, a more graphic. Oh uh, my goodness! One. In pink. Equal Dave. Dave. When she calls him Dave, then I know. But she just called him a nickname, so I wasn't sure. Ah. Dina told me Dave Mutley equals Dave. Thank you, Dina. Right. So that's that's slightly dry now. Nah, I want to start getting areas that are a little bit obviously uh, because that horse there. Oh, can I just call it an ask? I keep forgetting it's a zebra. <laughs> really? Guess what? Grace Gelpain says, guess what? He says, Ian is going to fool us all and paint them plaid. I say he's going to... Ah, well, oh, well, great minds he's think alike. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's its mane and it's done. That's all you have to do for a man, hey? It's man. Is that what they call it, a man? Man. Oh yes, right. Is it? Is it? Is it still a man, even though it's yeah, yeah, like it a, a Mohican? Hair on know. the back of the neck is called the mane, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know, but on an horse, it's normally not like that, though, is it? It's it, it, it's more brushed to one side. It's a comb over. Oh, hello, hello, Madonna. And so I didn't know ever. I, I didn't know whether it had some sort of um, name. different name, a specialized name. A scientific, if it it probably might mm. have a scientific name. Hi, okay. Upload Journey, Madonna. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, Mohican. It's the last of the Mohican. Mohican. Oh, that's like um, like a person if they get a hairstyle that looks like a a. An Indian, yeah, a native. It, it is, yeah, well, it, it comes from Mo, Mohawk, Mohawk yeah, tribe, Mohawk. doesn't it? Yes, like Mohawk. Um, but they have the hair spiked up. But it became very popular in the 1970s with um, uh, punk rockers, if you know what they are. I mean, I, I know you were too. Well, yes, I, 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 I
I, I was just about to say, you're way too young to remember any of that sort of stuff. I'm older than so, you. <laughs> Ian, I am older than you. I wouldn't want to say. Oh, my goodness. Way. Oh, my goodness. There's a part of there's a part of the city where a big city where I live. I, and they had they had a, a, this one neighborhood like a long time mm -hmm. ago. Teenager, which it was mm -hmm. known for all the punk rockers hang out on that street. Did you? Did you ever go to a punk rock, uh, a pogo dance? No, no, I've popular. No, I never been to a punk rock concert. I no, I just look at them and say, "Wow, look at how they look," and I, I don't really like uh, it. And I'm like, like, like amazed by oh. how they look. It, and I only like a little bit of punk rock music, not not that well, very much. Um, I felt a bit like that until I bumped into a, a latter day uh, punk rocker uh, when I was at school, and uh, uh, she was a really nice lass actually. But she used to dress up exactly like she but, she weren't from the punk era. It started in the UK. But, no, it didn't actually. What? Uh, the first punk rock band were the Ramones. That are an American band. Ah. But they, they did nothing. They did nothing in the US. They came over to England, played a few gigs here, oh and, and British, British loved them. And several other bands set up, i.e., the Sex Pistols and what have you. But um, no, it's an American invention, actually, that. Punk. Oh, F Lord Journey has a joke. He has a joke, uh, a riddle. Do you know oh. why they call old age the golden years? Right, no, why? Right. Uh, buy Gracie, buy and buy Gracie. Buy his grayscale painting too. No, Alfred's journey. Why? Diana equals old and lost. Oh my God! Listen oh. to Gracie. Oh. Listen to Gracie. Oh. Listen to what he said. I oh. in great no painting it either we're the same age or he might be older, he might be younger. I don't know. Diana equals old and lost and undercover punk rocker. She has the she spikes in her. Oh no, I, 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 I'm thinking probably you were more uh, a, a rocker than anything else. Yeah, I like, yes, I do. I, mm -hmm. I like well, I like I, when, when I were in the impressionable young years. Uh, I, I, I were a, I were a skinhead. You were a skinhead. A skinhead, yeah. Oh my God, that what that mean? I forget what that means. That means you, like, you shaved your whole head. Yeah, yeah, you were really short, you're really short. You, you wore a white t-shirt, maybe black black jeans, and a pair of Doc Martin, preferably burgundy. <laughs> 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 oh, but there's more to it. Is there more to it than that? Because I don't want to talk about the philosophy that they. I oh no, no, we're not talking about the philosophies. We're just talking. About, talk about. We're, just, we're just. We're just talking about the. No, but yeah, yeah certain, well, certain individuals that were kind of philosophy, the ethnic philosophy that I don't want to yeah, talk about. Yeah, the, the, in, in a lot of different. Uh, we're not talking about uh, the philosophies of people here. We're talking about the. Uh, the uh, uh, what the cult uh, the the fashion culture that were behind it that most ordinary people would have connected on to a later stage not not the like neo Nazi stuff it was never anything I mean Yuck would want to be part of that. But uh, it, it, some now, of them were. It depends what well, kind yeah, of. Oh, yeah. But then again, there's people who weren't, who, who uh, okay. you know, in fact, stereo, uh, that, that were like that. You know, I mean, I could I could show you people who dressed up like mods that have got much more right wing opinions. All right. Here's you know, Albert's so. journey. Here's Albert journey answer to his joke. He said, Why All is right. it called the golden years or whatever? And yeah. then. He said, "Because you give, you're given all your gold to the doctors to keep you going." That's it, exactly. Yes, yes absolutely. Wrong. You're not wrong, via Elf Lord. Okay, maybe when I'm like a uh, twenty years older, twenty five years older from now, maybe that's going to happen. But I don't know. Not right now. Mm, when nine hundred, you are. Will you look this good? What? 
It's a quote from Yoda. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Gra Gracie wanted to know. Gracie, um, he's using a 140 pound paper, right? Yeah. Did, can you um, it's, it? un it's 140 pound uh, Heine Mule, if that's how you pronounce If anybody knows exactly how to pronounce that, I'd be more than grateful. If they could actually, because because it's a German word, and I had to clue how to pronounce it, and I I don't want to offend my German cousins. So we've got a bit of a, a fuzzed out uh, thing there. Oh God! Um, and Dina, Dina said she was picturing you with a mullet. A what? Oh, a did, you know what? Strangely enough, you know, like a. Um, a ponytail on the back, like your hair is shaved on the sides, shaved on the sides, yep. but you have like a mohawk, like in the, the top of your head, and then it's in a, a ponytail on the back, something like that. Ironic that she should say that because that's what I had. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, Dina, you were right. Yeah, I, I had it all shaved right side with a long a long blocker. Well, after I what after I had me asking that, which will popular generally it weren't that i were a skinhead it was just a popular uh uh it were fashionable at the time to wear those kind of clothes it weren't necessary but uh, after that I, I had my hair right sh right short at sides with uh, and a little man ponytail right until i became a pringle now you're saying wait a minute a pringle a, a pringle a, pr <laughs> a pringle a pringle yeah, that's what you think they are. <laughs> back in eighties, back in eighties, there were a, 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 a. Do you know what? Uh, you know, people who were called trendies and fashionable people who like to wear Giorgio Armani and all that sort of stuff. And right, right, you know, really tr high high end trendy. I don't know what right? I would call them. What are they called? Well, oh. well, we used to call them Pringles. Wow, you call them Pringles. I don't know what yeah. I don't know what word I would uh, call but, them. Um, yeah, uh, uh, and that's what we. Uh, I think what ended up happening is is mods and and uh, mods and skinheads had babies and turned into into Pringles. Bye, Maria. Miss mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. Bye. So there you go. There's, there's, there's a bit of back history. All right, well, Marie, that's that. Done. Thing, I didn't learn much about you. Oh my goodness! I I need to check out your channel. I got to screenshot this so I can check out your channel. All right. So. And um, Kathleen uh, Elliott says, Ian, did you used to be a bad boy? No, not really. We used to go to odd football match and have a scrap now and again, but that was about it. <laughs> it's amazing what beer does to you. So, oh, you never cause like trouble in the community or anything? Oh no, no, no! I'm a, I'm a model. I'm a model citizen. Okay. Right. So I'm, I'm uh, to try and keep this very, very loose. What I'm going to do is. Uh, I, I don't want to be like absolutely copying every single. That's the thing that you could get wrong when you're doing a doing um what are they called zebras? Honestly, why am I keeping forgetting that they're called zebras? So you know why? It's because I've only ever seen one zebra ever, and yet I've seen thousands of Barnsley unicorns. You've seen thousands of unicorns? I have, yeah, Barnsley unicorns. So we've got mm. that all nice and so so Barnsley unicorns, what they are is um the they're a special kind of unicorn that don't have any uh horns. So if you can imagine a unicorn without any horns. But they are in the what? In Barnsley. Oh, yeah. If you can, if you can, if you can, is that like an English province? Is that like a place in England? And you, yeah, it's a place. It's a place in England where magical things happen. 
That's cool. Because I, I, I believe in that. You know, I mean, I believe I, if somebody said, I, I mean, I do believe in that somewhat. And I'm not going to. And if somebody says that they saw something, I'm, I'm not going to tell them they didn't see it. No. Um, um, let me just get one thing straight about this. I don't believe that unicorns exist. All right. right. All right, we all know that they are fictional, and but it's nice to fantasize about world. these things, isn't it? Yes, in the physical world, there's other. Uh, but see, I believe in other dimensions well, of existence. You know, well, if you if you believe in multiverse, then uh, uh, there's a unicorn uh, in the universe painting a picture of a, a human and saying exactly, you know <laughs> exactly. In saying that, I'm I'm not hundred percent sure about that because it, it just it, it should be that infinite that where's because all because it can't be proven in your human mind. Your human mind it has to be proven in your heart and your your heart and your intuition. Yeah, but there's physical boundaries to everything in the universe. No wait, let me read some of the chat. Okay, um, Graceful uh, Pain says, "Well, oh, and they really love this chat. They said, oh, this is the best chat. This is, this is the best chat going well, on.' Well, we, we always yeah. like to bring yeah. a little bit of joy to people, boring, right? We <laughs> always like to make sure that we bring a little bit of joy to people's heart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then other weeks were like totally boring. <laughs> uh, and then other weeks, all of a sudden, like it just takes off and we're doing well. and if only we could um find do, formula. you should do a vote every you should start that turned out pretty good you should do a vote start with a vote every every chat that could be work maybe that's that's the secret i'm gonna be really sneaky now <laughs> oh goodness oh well, i'm trying to say well hell if diana believes that um bigfoot kicked me in the back of the head and took me took me oh hold on let me blow this up and took me lunch and took my lunch meat oh. and took the lunch meat that's great girl painting okay and kathleen elliott says unicorn with no arms i don't know what that question is okay a, a uni a unicorn with no arms we call them bands horns. Like unicorns. Oh, no, horns h o r n s yes yes yeah, a unicorn that doesn't have any arms. But then the called Barnsley Unicorn. We've got a feel full of them. I'm surprised you are don't have any. Oh, you're surprised what? That, that um, you don't have any uh, Barnsley Unicorns. I know. I've never heard of it before, like to, before this past week. Oh, Dina says, Dina Tolson says, my motto is why have reality when you can have fantasy yes you see you see you believe it, that? It, it, Listen, in my, she's got this is coming from an electrical engineer who's very logical yeah well well if you if you I think about if you thing. think about some of the greatest innovations right exactly I believe had, the same thing. Uh, if you think about some greatest innovations that we've had in engineering and things like that especially over this part of the century a lot of it's come from science fiction. Yes, exactly. People dreamt it up in the mind and they thought, oh, we can't do it's this. Starting with the imagination first. Yeah, it has to be. If it's within the, the imagination, it's doable. Yeah, that's, that's why I, that's cool. why, that's why uh, just behind the moon, I'm building a Death Star. I know that might sound controversial, but <laughs> and this one won't have one of those portals in it, you know, that can be blown up. Oh, well, let me see. I'm trying to read the chat. Have you noticed? I don't know if you can see the subtle differences. Oh my but... goodness! That's what Chrissy says. She says she's she's never voting again. Oh, well, you know, if you don't vote, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I know that might look like it's black to you all, but believe me, it's all sorts of different colours, dark colours. 
Dina heard the same thing. She thought you said unicorn arms instead of horns. Oh. Why would why do you why would a unicorn have It's just your accent. It's just your accent, the way it sounds to an American ear. Like so some, somebody in your country probably would not have thought that, but because of American ear, the American ear, we're gonna hear it and it's different. Well, Chrissy mm -hmm. says, I have Barnsley unicorns. Yes, Hi, Chrissy John. Used have, Chrissy used to have Barnsley unicorns. But well, if, if, if you pay it, if you, what it is, William, what it is, William, if you, if you pay an extra fee, right, you can have somebody come along and put some corns on end of the red. And, and then what other the unicorns, aren't they? Proper unicorns. <laughs> what kind of unicorns? Proper unicorns. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, this is how you get a chat going. This is it. We need Talk to have a load of baloney. <laughs> uh, Woo! -hoo! Wait, try a vote. Today's dribble, today's dribble is brought to you by Sesame Street, which is fifty years old. Woohoo! We learned note from it. Yes, that's a mystery. It's 50 years old uh, yeah, on this isn't one. It? I wish I'd have watched it a bit more. I might be a bit more intelligent. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh my <laughs> it's only God. one I remember. Honestly, it's only one I remember. Oh, here's Dina. Dina saying, I had quite a vision in my head of Ian's armless unicorn. I'm not sure it was, it was well, I suppose I suppose they do have. Uh, I, I suppose all unicorns are armless, aren't they? Apart from them that are really offensive. And looked quite streamlined. No, I, I don't. I can't imagine a unicorn without four legs. Well, it might be. It might be like a, a humanoid body, a, a head of a horse that's got a. Uh, a car. Right. Nah. And Kathleen because Elliott says she can sleep tonight now that she knows the unicorn has horns. I know. I, it, it, it disturbed me for a long, long time. I'm still on Prozac for it now. We had Pink Prozac in her. I think she left. She's very, she can be very busy sometimes. Mm -hmm. Kang, oh, Grayscale Painting says it's a, it's Kang, Kanga unicorn. That, that, that looks like, when I'm reading this, that looks like a combination of kangaroo and unicorn. So, that's it. What we now, now need to start thinking about is coming up with some extremely stupid animals what, that, and then that would be combined. Her? You I would paint know, a fantasy creature? I suppose we could do. Yeah, but... a fantasy creature. That's how I used to teach. I used to teach kids like about they it doesn't have to, like certain things, it doesn't have to be a real animal, and they can create a fantasy creature that could be a combination of different different animals or just total totally out of their imagination, or it could be a combination of different animals. Like in like sometimes in clay we would do that in clay clay not mm -hmm. I, sometimes in clay um uh, some of the years I had a kiln but my last several my, my last ooh, my last majority of my time I did not have a kiln so uh, we used plasticine oil based plasticine mm -hmm. clay to be used over and over again and I would take pictures. Well, I, I was watching. I was watching um, a video on how to actually get some clay, a little bit of clay, and make um, a lumi. Air dry clay. You uh, have to get the right kind of air dry clay because yeah. most air dry clay will just fall apart to pieces. What before you before it dries? Yeah, I've tried all different kinds of air dry clay, and unless. You, and the, um, one of the, uh, one of the good ones, one of the mm -hmm. good ones is Crayola Model Magic. That will not fall really? apart. 
Crayola model magic. Well, well I'm not- almost thinking about getting proper, proper uh, clay. What they use is clay. You want it, you want it to be air dry? Air dry? Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I haven't really done any free, an awful lot of 3D. Yeah. It's uh, not something I'm particularly strong on. Yeah, I've, right. I've, 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 had, I've had odd little bits of things, like, you know, done the odd the odd plate or something like that, but nothing of a creative art level, which is a shame because I'd like to have a good... The problem is with that is you've got to have a kiln and all other bits of stuff, and it yeah, takes a load not of Not all. No, no, no. You, yeah. If you can get a very good quality air-dried clay, mm-hmm. you can... You can um, also, yeah, how long does that take and does it actually no, work? No, polymer, and how is it? polymer clay. Polymer clay, uh, you can bake it in a toaster oven. Really? Yes. Mm-hmm. And you, you should, um, I'm not an expert on it, but you, I mean, just search it on YouTube. The best way to do I've, it. I've watched, I've watched one or two um, videos on it because I, I, uh, this thing that I've seen um, does look really interesting. Uh, it, it's like a Loomis head. I, wa- I want something to be able to look at and refer to a head. Um, and you you make you make your own ad for it. Mm-hmm. Can you notice I'm putting little bits of subtle colour in it? <gasps> That's just to please you. You add colour people like colour. Um, but I think I mean. No, I can't see the colour in that. You not see that? Maybe because it's not close yeah, enough. Well, I don't know. Yeah, all of shades of gray. I mean, well, end of the day, I want that to be gray anyway because it's 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 in the background. I don't want it to be um, overly strong because this is the foreground. This is the main part of the picture. So this needs to be slightly dulled. So anything that has any strong edges and things like that, I'll need to nip out. There we go. Mm-hmm. Anything with strong edges, you're gonna um, you're going to um, you, you the edge. Yeah, just 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 um, make sure that there's nothing that's very high contrast, because um, if oh you do God. that. My goodness, where's the where's the white stripes of the zebra? They've vanished. It, it's in the background, Matt. You, you'll you'll see later when I do this a lot stronger that that will come out. Because you've made them gray, yeah. like, you not make them stark yeah, white. Gray. You made the white like shades of gray. Yes. Whereas this will be much more contrasted. Yeah. So that okay. suggests it, it's more in the foreground. Okay, I see. That's the one in the background. Yeah, that bit there is the one in the background. This is what the picture looks like. So we've got this background here. Then we've got background arse number one and background uh, arse foreground number one. There you go. So we've done that. Now. Yeah. And you could very easily just do a very literal dark line against light colour there on that. But that to me would be very graphic illustration. And I didn't want to do that. So, because we're doing watercolour. Not that you can't do graphic illustration in in, uh, watercolour. But you know its strength is the fact that things blend so why not use that strength all right what, yeah. what's your oh what, here's a change of subject what's your opinion on um banksy i know this happened a while ago this is old right. news. Mm-hmm. you know banksy's girl mm-hmm. with the balloon the heart-shaped balloon and then they were in Sotheby, Sotheby, all of a sudden for a million something, it was sold. And all of a sudden it got, you know, it got shredded. It got like, shredded up. Right, well, gavel. I just watched a video today to, to, so I got uh, the right, right I when know. the gavel hit, it, 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 the thing shredded. And I'm like, 
and it did and actually it 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 didn't um uh, it, it it didn't work right it should have shredded all the way but it shredded halfway and then they said that probably makes it more valuable yeah. i think that's I, did, I think I, it's brilliant i loved i love that idea yeah well it's a bit, piece of stage it's a piece of stage um oh, like performance like performance, performance art. art, yeah. Because right. at the end of the day, nothing that's been damaged uh, is worth more than something that isn't damaged. If I took a Ming Dynasty vase to Christie's and said, look, uh, I've got this Ming Dynasty vase, and then put a pot all in it and said, is it more valuable now? They'd turn around and say, on your bike, pal. So nah, all it is... Well, it's totally different because the artist intended it. Yeah, so exactly. If, if that's part of the performance of the art, then fair enough. But performance art, is it worth the same amount as actual long-term art well, that's going to be around for hundreds of years? It depends who did it. So because Banksy did it, yeah, it's worth something. And because it malfunctioned, because the thing malfunctioned and didn't shred all the way, they said that makes it worth more. And that they that the person who bought it, they, they pretty much did doubled doubled what the value of this what the value of the thing is what the art well, is um i mean from an outside viewpoint I, I find it a little bit demeaning that something like that can be done as a, a staged piece of um you know theater and yet there's people who are just as good as artists to be frank and because spanks is not that good mm-hmm uh, he's uh, he's got, don't get me wrong, he's a good Nobody artist, but he's not, he's not. It, Wait a minute, he's he's never a am I, am I sure, is, am I right, he's right. never showed his identity? No, it's, it, it, it's an, well, he started off as a graffiti artist, so. On, yes, because, he started, because, yes, because, he because, started uh, off as a graffiti artist, right. I mean, it, it, we're doing that type of graffiti I was doing when I were a kid at his age. Right. Um, Going and tagging walls and putting you know spray paint pictures yeah, right. and things like big wow we were doing that in early 80s um uh, don't get me wrong he's a talented artist but it, i don't seem to be anything outstanding mm -hmm. uh, and i see people on on internet on a regular basis who were, who were uh, a lot better than what he is and yet they got no recognition whatsoever that's the how the art world is it's, it's it, it, it's, it's establishment. It, it, it's all about the rich people and who, well, it might, who, it who might they show favor to. Now, like, are you saying it might come down to who you know and who your connections are? Well, you, you get yourself in with people, don't you? Mm. A, a classic example of of how that works, right? You know, pre raphaelite movement. Well, it, no, uh, I'm not familiar with it. It, 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 were, it were a group of artists who did a painting in a particular style. Not popular at all at the time by any of the critics. They absolutely yeah. slayed it. And they said, oh, what a load of rubbish. Nothing like what modern art should be. And then uh, I think it was John Ruskin. I think it was John Ruskin. One of big patrons came along and said, do you know what? I actually like this. And then all of a sudden, everybody came out at Woodwork and started saying, Oh, yes, it's absolutely fantastic. It's the bee's knees. It's the best thing ever. And don't get me wrong, it's my favourite form of art. But um, it's amazing how the establishment can ch suddenly change its mind when certain people uh, say one thing or another. And that happened to Rembrandt as well. But Rembrandt, we, we consider to be one of the great artists of all time. Right? Oh, in his day... Hmm? Are you, do you want to hear the chat? Yeah. What's that? Boom, boom. Okay, so Dina says People. price depends on yeah. the reputation of the artist. Mm -hmm. And Christy mm -hmm. says the art world is corrupt like everything else with money involved. Well, that's it. Dina it's says it's like, oh, let me blow this up. It's, it's, like, a it's a play toy for the rich. It's it? like singers or dancers or other art mm -hmm. or other art forms. Talent only goes so far. After that, yeah. talent only goes so far. That's right. What? And then after that, what is it? Like your contacts, your connections? Yeah, if you're in with the in crowd or, or you come from a certain cultural background. 
which is not always the case, but sometimes is. It depends on whether you've got monetary value to them. See, Banksy has got a name now, right? So people can trade in his art in whatever levels. I bet Banksy don't get. I think he said, oh, I wish I'd sold it later because he, he didn't actually lie. sell that. You know that painting? Uh, he didn't actually sell it. It was being sold on behalf of someone else, weren't it? Who bought it from him? What on and Sotheby that the debt Sotheby you mean from so the I, shredded I, picture? You mean? Yeah, the shredded picture were owned by someone who we'd he'd sold it to earlier, right? I I don't know about that. They didn't. I I. Well, it, it, it were interviewed about a, a picture. I don't know if it was that particular picture, but I'm sure it were. And he said he regretted. Uh, actually selling it from the viewpoint that he could have made money off it himself so i don't think he made any, a, a boatload of money off of it oh yeah because he had to take out a, they're only going to give him a commission well I not mean, even that if it's no longer his, if, it's, if, if he's already sold it on to a to an owner it's no longer his property uh, he must have gotten a he must have gotten a percentage. That's how it did work. Well, does get a now, nowadays he probably will get a percentage of things. But back in uh, when he sold the original picture originally, he may not have had a clause like that in his painting. And then Chrissy Canvas Art says it, it's luck also. And then there, and then Dina and Christine, I mean, Dina and Chrissy were mm. agreeing that it, there's corruption in all air, in all fields and all, all industries where it like, cause like Chrissy was saying, it's all corrupt with the money, but um, mm. they agree that it's, there's corruption in all industries. And no, it's well, money talks, do not it? So well, we don't have to, have a philosophy degree to understand that um, money gets you a lot farther than what a lot of uh, a skill and ability it's does. It's not cut and dried. It's not like, oh, you do accounting work and if you're going to, even if, even the accountants, they, they have to like, they want to get a certain clientele. They want to, they want to hook up with those people, maybe richer people, more rich people. Yeah, well, that's it. They're going to Make a book. Pay pay more for their services going to use them for often going to use them for financial planning and not just as an accountant but also as a financial planner and then pay and then pay him more money and i mean he's not going to charge them more but i mean um it's more like in that way it's more cut and dry mm -hmm. than, i don't know than than the art mm -hmm. world and not just the visual art world that's mm -hmm. music that's that's oh, i mean performing, the, arts, the amount, performing arts it makes my blood boil that uh, you know amount of money that gets poured into right we have the arts council in britain for example and it gets a certain amount of money to help and develop and support artists right 90 percent of that money goes into like places like the royal hop opera house now you know, this might sound controversial, but to me, that in actually really the the real place where art is. Fair enough, the people perform are artists, but not in the visual. I don't know. I I, I find it difficult connecting with um, people who, who who dance on a stage and call it art. I really do. That's vision. That's the Listen, on a, on a Saturday night, on a Saturday night, you'll find me in my local disco dancing, but I don't get paid for it. Oh, are, are you not talking about ballet dancing? I'm talking about all dancing. Pa ballet is, is, what, is really is, uh, fair, very fair enough. Fair enough. If you want to be the elite of, of your creative environment, you have to mm -hmm. train. Yes. But don't I have to train to do this? I've been training for nearly over 40 years to do this. Mm -hmm. so, and yeah. it, it, get, it, get, it gets less recognition 
than somebody who's been training for five years at Royal Opera House, dancing up well, and down. Not always. So, the, some of the lucky people, they get... Okay, you want to hear some of the people in the chat? Go on. I know I've said some controversy. Because I, I, I know because there's some up, upper crust people here and they like their opera. <laughs> Chrissy Canvas Art says it's luck. Also, John Mallory says, uh, you, uh, "Ian, it's a nice, you're nice. It's a nice painting." Oh, Dina Collison. Okay, wait for this. Come on, this, is Dina. A, this is a long comment. Hold on. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Dina, talent plus hard work plus luck plus connections, plus reputation, plus years of hard work, years of work, plus marketing, plus innovation, plus collector's base, and plus staying up with technology, plus patience equals art career. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Dina. Yeah, I've got, I've got to admit, it's not just one element, is it? It's, and some of those elements are not always in your control. So, no, they're uh, not. Right. But how how do we get them under like our luck, control? Luck is, not, luck is not in your control. That that's the conversation we all need to have. How do we get those things that are not in our control under our control, or are they actually in our control but we don't know that they are? No, they're not. That's the conversation we need you to have. Let it go, and then you got to let it go and accept what happens. You do your best. Oh, no, you, you, got, your you best. got to. You, you, you do your best. Got you can't make you can't force it you cannot no. Force oh, no. It. no because you'll end up you'll end up at wrong end uh, an emotional breakdown trying to push right yourself, exactly um in that direction all right here we go dina tolveson tolveson says dancers have a limited short i mean shelf life that's true they, oh, they really have Young, to be to be a successful ballerina or whatever you have to be pretty you have to be young and we well, are lucky. oh we are lucky as visual artists that's right we can do that do you know what? yes yes in, yes in, in real terms at, at 48 years old and that's what i am right i'm a baby yeah I'm, baby. Only just, I, I'm only just coming into my period of of life where i should be starting you to make 48 48 yeah okay it, de it depends though different like if you're like a, a manga artist for for some sort of you know comic book that's dead trendy and for the kids and that you uh you tend to be slightly younger but a person who does fine art in this kind of way you you'll find that it they are only just starting to get into that right mental attitude in life when you get older, you get better as you get older. Uh, yeah. you know, and that's that's people, the good thing yeah. about it. A lot of people do, yeah. Well, you pick up more information. As opposed don't you? to the ballerina, the ballerina, she's not going to get better with I me. Mean, in in saying that, I mean, some of us in the creative art environment do obviously go on to suffer from physical ailments that makes it a lot more difficult for us yeah, to do that that's when we're right. younger. Yeah, that's and, right. Uh, but in saying and that... The actors, the actors, they get prejudiced against that. They have prejudice okay. against... There's ageism. Ageism. In well, the, it all in depends the, on... Ageism. Like, it's all about youth. Yeah. All about youth in the in the, in the acting and the world and, you know, in the world of um, theater and acting. Um, it's it, it's they're like it's ageism. It's youth youth rules. Mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Same for like I mean, just because not because that has to happen. Like the ballerina, that just because her her body can perform better. That's why. But in mm -hmm. any other, and that's the only one. Because any other any other art form, any other I mean, art well, form. I mean, sport. Theater, theater, dramatics. See, that, that from you that for me. You can get better with age. Art, you can get better with age. Well, I said this afternoon, just to chill myself out, I sat down and I listened to a bit of B.B. Uh, King. And when he did the uh, recording of that, he was in his mid-80s. And, you know, to be frank, 
if you'd have listened to it independently, without knowing who it were, you'd have thought it was somebody who were 20 year old. Because although he might have slowed down over years, it, he's learnt to develop himself, or he did do anyway before he died, um, uh, to be able to work his skills in a way as he were getting slower. You know, he adapted his, his abilities. Right. But as he lost as he lost his uh, physical ability, he adapted it so that he could do things in a different way. And that's because he's been able to, over years, pick up lots of ways of doing things. There's a lot to be said for uh, um, redundancy within uh, your abilities, not just clinging on to one type of being able to do something. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah, you ready to hear the chat again? Mm hmm Okay. Right. Dina yep. says if we line up if we line up as many as many of the variables mm -hmm. in our control, yeah, then we have a better chance. The random stuff we have no control over. No. So what did she say? If we line we line oh, up as many as variables, yes, yeah, so you try to you you find you line up and getting you mm -hmm. get a plan for as many variables that are into your under your control. That's it. Then sure you're... that but you have to understand that there's uh -huh. a there's random stuff that we have no control over. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Hi, Farnham. I'm consider you a celebrity, and I'm like honored to have you in here. Thank you so much for coming in here. Um, um, to me, you're like a you little you. I mean, you're a YouTube celebrity, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, why, <laughs> Farnham fanatic? You're in here. Thank you, thank you so much for coming in here. This video may contain contain fan. Uh, girliness or whatever they call it fangirling what are you talking about this vid this, this live stream this, this video may contain contain fangirling the, what what we're talking about do you know what fan fangirling is i've heard that fangirling yeah yeah Sorry. but i i don't know <laughs> that, i don't know how that relates to what we're talking yeah. about yeah. don't worry okay here we go I, Dina says, um, true Diana, visual artists get more mm. respect as we age and have more experience. Yeah. That's it. It's about it's, it's, it's We're lucky for not, vision, it, to be visual it, artists. It, probably say for musicians and some I mean in jazz music, I would have to say not rock musicians, but jazz musicians, why, classical why, musicians. Why not? Why not? I mean, if you if you're knowledgeable as a rock musician you, you'll find a lot of the you know i know we stereotype rock musicians but a lot of the rock musicians who are really passionate about about their trade and their skills that are they're developing they all look and and have a collection of things like jazz and you know that they've got a very, I, I was really surprised to watch interviews by like noted rock musicians and they were going through their albums, and I was like, you know, like, wow, they're jazz albums. And, 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 wow, what? Wow, what? The, 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 the jazz, uh, what I'm saying is that um, just because somebody's a rock musician, it doesn't mean to say that they're not talented in the same level as what a jazz musician is. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. It's just it's it's a just a different type of music. And a lot of a lot of uh um so called rock musicians do quote jazz musicians as inspirations. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like the with the blues or the the, mm. the Rolling Stones, their inspiration was the blues. Yeah, absolutely. I mean there's a closer link in that sense, but I mean even even jazz is a it's like a, an ins, inspiration to rock you know to people who you know like heavy metal guitarists who, who, who go oh yeah i love such and such a person and you go well i, I mean it doesn't necessarily show through in your in your creation 
But uh, obviously you've got an appreciation because you're talking about that person. Oh, and Grayscale of Painting says that the Rolling Stones drummer is the jazz drummer. Oh, yes, I guess well... He uh, was, in fact, he, um, he played in a... Didn't he play... Yeah, he, play, he played in a band, a jazz band. He might have. It, 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 yeah. Oh, and Grayscale Painting says Slash from Guns N' Roses also plays jazz. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah they, a, lot, a lot of these. Over, a, a lot yeah, of they cross over. over. You know, you look, you look at, you look at these um, creative people, and although the the uh, stereotyped into a particular style, um, you'll be surprised what their influences are in background. Like this is what happens in the visual world and the visual art world. You can be painting and you're painting and you're doing this kind. I mean, not just painting, mm -hmm. but you're doing this artwork. You're doing this artwork. You're doing this art. All of a sudden, there's some one kind of artwork that you do that catches on, and it's mm -hmm. like, oh, and it's I, I that happened to our friend of ours. He mm -hmm. did all kinds of artwork, and then what happened was he created these um Mexican. Mm -hmm. very realistic mexican like mexican people like people are in the painting because he can he's like very real he can paint very realistic if he wants to but mm -hmm. he paints abstract if he wants to he can paint what he wants so he he sold out his solo show of these mexicans really? in mexico he stepped pens and he painted from his photographs because he took very good photographs of like people in the streets in mexico and this he sold he practically sold out his solo show and he's he's crazy i mean in in one element in one respect he's crazy because mm -hmm. the, the gallery owner said paint more things like that and he said i don't want to i'm bored i'm bored i don't want to do that again yeah. uh, you know we've had that conversation There's about feeding, that like that. Uh, uh, feeding the beast feeding the beast right you yeah. gotta you um, feed the beast and then you've got to you have a balance, to... aren't you? Uh, you yeah, you've got balance, to have some things that are commercial, commercially valid, right? Uh, uh, and if people, you know, you've got to keep in front of the trend uh, and produce stuff that's going to be like on trend for people, right? Not but all artists are like that, though. Like, if but, they sell I mean, out well, solo show, they're going to keep doing it. If, if, if you're an artist that's at such a level that you you can pick and choose whatever you want to paint and everybody will just go absolutely fantastic, love it. And if you're that good, then great. Just go ahead and paint whatever you want. But in real world, more often than not, most artists have to paint what other people want or we don't get a sale. Simple as that. Now, on top of that, don't mean to say that that's all we ever do. What what we what we do for our own personal benefit and, and, and is his own painting and in his, in his own time, and that's where you have to have the balance. You spend time painting uh, for clients, and you spend time painting for your own personal development. Oh yeah, and, that's and you as an artist. Strategy. Yes, that's the good strategy. And, and, if you do that, hopefully at some point, some people might like your art and your way of thinking. Right. And it, that's, that's good. Feeding the you beast. brought people around, feeding the beast, yeah. A lot a lot of people, especially, especially in art crafting world, they seem to think that they've got to... Uh, keep doing everything that everybody else says they want. You, you know, there's people who, who watch YouTube and they don't really, you know, they're just there to watch, really. They, they enjoy art and they like watching art. And they say, oh, paint me a unicorn. And I go, oh, okay. Then let's oh, yeah, somebody said that to me. Uh, uh, and you could do that. You could, you could just literally spend all your time um, painting whatever people have said do right. and, and fair enough if you're not bothered about absolutely developing your 
personal creative skills and in and, and your personal art in, in your way, then go for it. But you, you, you ain't kind of move forward in the sense of um, doing the art that you want. And the, you might be able to express yourself to a certain degree, but um, I don't know. Oh look! Here's what Grace. Here's what Grayscale Painting says. He says that guy from Dirty Jobs. You know that show, Dirty Jobs. I've got to say, I've never heard of it. Oh my goodness! It oh, yeah. a... you've probably never seen it because you're in the UK. It's yeah. so fun. It's so weird. It's like, I mean, it's so interesting. It's like this job. This guy that goes around and he and Looking. he participates. He participates in the job that the people are doing, right. but it's not a dirty job. It's a yeah. dirty job where you're yeah. going to get totally like, dirty. Cleaning okay. sewers and things like that. I think we've got what? something similar in the UK. You got that? I think it, it's called Britain's Worst Jobs. Oh, okay. Or something like that. And, 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 and literally, they go, they go down sewers. They get this guy, this poor yeah, presenter. Yeah, they go down sewers. And, 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 it, and it goes down sewers and all sorts right. of... Right. Well, yeah, what have I done? So he said, the fellow from Dirty Jobs show... He sang opera, and then every creative person has their toe in something else. Yeah, well. Well, unfortunately, everybody. unfortunately, that, I mean, listen, yeah. listen. Up what? until very recently, uh, up until very recently, where I had to actually pack in. Uh, I, I, What's I that mean? Pack in. Uh, finish my job. Um, finish what job? I, I, well, this is what I'm telling you. Um, okay. I, uh, I, I was working as a, a, a janitor in a, a, a specialist uh, drug rehabilitation centre. Yeah. Right? Generally, like, cleaning around and making sure that place were up to standard. You know, if, if, if certain things were, weren't working, then getting them right. working. You know, basic stuff like that. But um, I've, I've done my shoulder in recently and i've just not been able to continue to do it so you I've your done shoulder, my shoulder my yeah it's uh, not working very well at the moment so um but that's what i were doing and yet i still do this i still yeah. do my art i still do it to a i'm i'm what i call semi-professional oh okay right that's a good way of putting it um I, I do i do i do bits of art here and there for people and it's all yeah. sorts of things sometimes it can be a bit of sign writing because it's definitely it can be, it, it can be... now you have sold your art oh yeah and i mean i've had periods of uh, my life where my actual art has been my sole income when i used to do wedding photography which oh. I'm never, ever, never, never oh. ever, ever, ever gonna do that ever again, ever. You're never gonna do that again. No. Too many bridezillas these days. I know Too bridezillas, many, right? Bridezillas. Bridezillas are crazy. The nutters. I want yeah, this, and I want to. Spend, I, I want that to much on one day. It's crazy. Yeah. Put that money in the down payment of a house. Yeah, not to. That's what I think. I don't agree. I do not agree on spending a fortune on a wedding. Oh, I've, got to, I've got to say, when I sat down with the future Mrs. Jackson, right, yeah. uh, I said to her, look, if we're getting married, there's going to be some rules and regs here. So you've got your choice. You have a marry me or you don't. So, and, uh, because I know what what happens with weddings. There were, I mean, there were some people like stressing out at me, right? Not not one that I were going, I were officiating at, but there was moaning at me and saying, "Oh, we're oh, plan yeah. we're planning a wedding. It's going to cost us like ten thousand pounds." More fool you! <laughs> Wait a minute, so <laughs> Wait a minute, so um. So, how long ago were you married? Several, what? 
2013, let's do the maths. It's a good job I watched Sesame Street, isn't it? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Oh, less 18, than 18, I. 18. Six years, right? We're only babies, really. Six years? Only just finding his feet. You've been married six years, right? Yeah, we have, yeah. Oh yeah, I've been married eight years, so not too much, not mm -hmm. too much difference. No, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah say, my husband say, I do not want a big wedding where there's going to be all these people mm -hmm. there. And I, and I was flexible on that. See, I, I, I was not dead set like, oh no, I have to have a big wedding. I'm like, mm -hmm. I mean, my all my relatives are all old, we're like old and all over the country, and I'm not mm -hmm. even not in touch with them. And I'm like, it would be, it would be ridiculous trying to have a big wedding. Who cares? So. We, well, so we, I mean, we, for, fortunately we, for me, my wife were in in uh, the similar frame of mind, and oh, she didn't want good. to be. She, she didn't. She didn't want a big wedding, and she explained to me that she found them a little bit gross. Oh, that's nice. There's, no, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with family all getting together and clubbing together and making it the best day that you can possibly yeah, make did, it for everybody. Did you get married? That, that, that's about. That's about. That's about family isn't it and everybody helping oh out and that, that, that's the kind of wedding that we wanted to have you know it, 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 were, it were a family occasion hey did you get married it, in the philippines or the uk it, it, in, in the uk oh but it would have cost thousands to go over to the philippines and then we wouldn't have had any of his friends there so Oh my God! Great painting saying he's we're newlyweds just because newly no the well the definition of newlywed is um no. two years being married two up to two years. Oh, well, I mean, I mean, we, in comparison, just, in comparison to some people I know, I mean, I know oh, yeah, somebody who had like fifty. I know, I know people who've been married for fifty and sixty years. Oh yeah, so, right. Uh, in comparison to them, we've not even met a start. Really? Well, I don't know how we got here from art. I don't know. But the inequalities of um, um, creativity and things like that. Really? That's how it led to that? None to. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm Dino getting around. Dino left. Dino left. Dino left. We're not talking about art anymore, so Dino left. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm, 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 um, I'm let me check. Let me see if he's still in here. Is there anything? No, that, he's not in here. Is there, is there anything that we want to talk about now uh, or, or ask questions about while we're here, while we're at this stage? Mm. No, it makes sense more that that background zebra makes more sense now. Yeah. You see, and that's what you have to think about, you know, with painting. Think about it in stages. It, it, it might look it might look silly at right. first. That's its ugly stage. The ugly but stage. You that, when you get the other things in in context, it it's then and only then when the painting comes into its you know into its proper environment. Did she say that she would go in? No, she didn't say goodbye, but no. a lot of times no. people just leave. So she's no. uh, she's not here. And, I, and Chrissy left too. Chrissy had to go. Chrissy did no. say goodbye. No, uh, Chrissy did give a goodbye. I, I think that well, uh, Carolyn. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Did I miss you, Carolyn? It's half past nine. Carolyn, to be free. Wait a minute, Carolyn. To be free, I'm sorry. Like if I miss, if I think I miss saying hello to you. Hello, um, hello. It's it's getting towards half past ten now, so I'm going to get a move on, and get this painting finished off. So, let's see if we can uh, go into turbo speed. Uh, Carolyn, to be free is not in here anymore either. Okay. So there's your eye. Oh, and for a while we, were, we had a lot. We had not good number of people in here when we were talking about the art. Yeah, we moved on, didn't we? We started talking about weddings. I think we lost some people. 
That's my thought. You know, I you know, that, you know that kind of shock that people go into um, uh, when uh, Vietnam War veterans get that um, that post-traumatic stress disorder. Right. You start talking about weddings, and it's probably making people get post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah. oh, working. he lurks and he comments and he listens. That's good. Well, a I lot of people just listen. We, Thank we, you we so love, much, Great Gail. We love our lurkers. Yeah. Even though I wish I knew who you were, but that uh, that's think, good. Think, Thank you, you so much. Out. You know what? Like on Facebook? On Facebook? Um, you, they know if you're if you're there, you can't lurk. You can lurk, but they they'll know you're there. They can see you. Yeah. They can see your. Room. I think I think you can. Uh, if you and would, I bet you, YouTube might start doing that. Twitch already does that. I think Twitch already does that. YouTube they might start doing that because Facebook Facebook does it. Well, it's good. It's good to know who these people are because you can like then. I would like, like to know. I would like to know. But sometimes, if I'm a lurker, I kind of want to see him, no, but really I don't know. know. Not always. It's about, it if it's all about interaction and stuff like that, then sure. Hi, Paul. Then, oh, hi, Paul. Hi, Paul's blind suit for the soul. Hi, Paul. He nice owns two of your you. paintings, right? Doesn't he own two of your paintings? It does, yes. A portrait and a landscape. Yes. Hi, Paul. He, he, he has the, the, the largest. Wow. He has the. He has the largest collection of Ian Jackson paintings in the United what, States of America. Yeah, two. Two. <laughs> hey, you're not far behind on one. I have one. You have. With these lines here, I'm 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 not following any particular set pattern, right? Because if you try being that precise about stuff, you you're gonna you know, that spontaneity don't stay with the painting. You 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 you're being a slave to the. Oh, to explain that again, what? Um, I'm not following the. Uh, lines of the horse, it's horse. I've done it again, aren't I? Zebra, uh, zebra. You're, um, not following, you're not following the lines that were in the photograph, you mean? I, I'm not, I'm not following it exactly. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not every tiny yeah. little exact line. It, it, it's, exactly. it's, it's an approximation of it, right? Because if you try, if you try following every, every line, not only will it do your head in painting it all in, yeah, it, it's. It makes know, you, it, 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 you you lose you lose that spontaneity of the brush. Okay. See what I'm doing is I'm I'm, I'm just I'm just basically roughing it in like this. Watch. Here you go. That's all you need. Let me tell everybody the latecomers. We voted at the beginning to whether he Ian should paint black and white zebras or a colorful like rainbow kind of zebras and black and white one black and white one there you go would have thought oh wait a minute grace girl Payne says on facebook he he knows a lot of he goes a lot he goes live a lot on facebook wait a minute if you don't test they won't know you that was not my experience Grayscale painting, I, really? Because I've been to like some people's Facebook lives, and I have not typed in anything, and they they say hello to me, and they know I'm there. Um, I, I think you can, you can you can find out, but it, on, on the actual chat as it's going up, um, it says so and so has entered the chat, uh, yeah. has entered the live. Right. Uh, now I. I I don't know. I've been to a couple of Facebook lives and I have not even mm. typed anything in the chat and they know that they say hello to me and they know I'm there. Um now if you're I think if you're a moderator or, No, I'm not a moderator. No, no. 
I'm if not you're a moderator, moderator in the chat, right? What you can do is you can see uh, participants. You go into the chat where the dots are, click on that, and there's a thing that says participants. And that should tell you everybody who's actually in. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I think you're saying the host will know, but not anybody else. Maybe. Right. I don't know. I don't know exactly. Oh, yeah. And Donna Friedman says, uh, your painting is looking great, Ian. Thank you, Ta. And uh, we're not far and off from you. That was Madonna Friedman. Oh, she's oh. always uh, very kind to me. Do you know her first name? I know Madonna. Yes. Yeah, okay. And really... All I've got to do now is emphasize some of these dark areas again. I might, I might, because um, I want it to be slightly loose. I might, um, I need a clean change of water, so I'll be a second or two. Okay. Wait a minute. Hi everybody. Yeah, Ian's just taking it. He has to change his water. We don't. Oh, let me read what Paul wrote. We don't. Hold on, Paul. I want to enlarge this. We don't want no sissy looking zebra with black and white is the way to go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. oh what happened? Oh, uh, the camera fell over. Oh, okay. You just camera fell over. Yeah. I hope it didn't. I hope that didn't. Hopefully, the camera is okay. Nearly. Oh well. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's to... okay now. I'm. I'm you back. got it back in place. It looks just, fine. Just a to get a towel. Okay. Paul, that's so funny. I'm gonna I'm gonna read that to Ian. <laughs> I can't believe that Ian. I mean not Ian, Paul. And, and y'all you can click on the eye and you all mm. know who's visited. Okay. Paul Paul's blind suit for the soul says. Hey, we don't want no sissy looking zebras. Black and white is the way to go. Beautiful. Oh my <laughs> God. He come in here. He would, what are these people? I'm, I want I like these, better than reality. Well, I tell you what, I'm um what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna have a go at do, we, we've done it in black and white. Or oh, mostly black and white anyway. And in, in it's what you would consider to be fairly traditionally kind of black and whitey kind of way. And uh, I'm just getting a bit of tonal value in there, here and there. Oh my God, what am I, because I'm thinking about if I if we're going to do a raid who, well, we have 15 more minutes because this is one friend of mm -hmm. mine on there longer than usual and i don't want to go away and then all of a sudden she stopped but there's another there's another person i know and i know she goes on and on and on forever so if we rated her that would be good well I, i'm 
demo wise, I'm virtually done. Demo, the, what do you mean demo wise? De, well, this is a demo, isn't it? Right, so, is that, so is that I, I might, something else? Hey, you are. Well, is that different than like, something else? Well, there's all sorts of different ways you could do it. I mean, like we said, we could do it colorfully. Um, I, I might go back later on and um, uh, emphasize some dark areas, but it's a bit wet at the moment for me to be doing that, and it might take half an hour to dry. Hi, Mystic Unigon. Yeah, I, I didn't see you were still here, so thank you for still being here. So that's okay. basically, although it has got colour in it, subtly, that's your your box standard black, yeah, and, white, black and white art, oh, yeah. uh, black, black and white zebra. And then grayscale painting says masterful one masterful watercolor work. I see you don't have to be overly. I've not mentioned the word detail today, but masterful but you, is that is that M word banned? No, that's fine. Masterful. That's also <laughs> saying an expert. Masterful. <laughs> Her. No, it isn't. You can be a you can be a master a, a ma you can master your art without right. being an expert. What? I thought they're the same thing. No, not necessarily. Or they'd be oh, the same yeah. word, wouldn't they? they? They have slightly different meanings. I think an expert is a person who has a, a, a strong background knowledge. Right. Whereas a person who is a master of of the art is a person who's mastered the actual thing itself. Oh, oh God, I can't even. It's yeah. subtle, but it is different. Okay. It's just the way English language is. It's just a, a very slightly different. It's basically the same, but they do have slightly different background meanings. But there you go. Oh, Madonna's still in here. Thank you, Madonna, mm -hmm. for being here. Awesome. Oh, she has to go. Thank you mm -hmm. for staying in here, though. Thank you. She got to go. See you next time. So it's, yeah. 40, it, it's 48 now. So it's what do you want to do? Great work, Ian. Great work, Ian. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, obviously, in, in the time period, once it's dry, I might do, I might do a little bit of work around it. But... That is fundamentally the painting done. So what did I do? I did a, a, a very soft background with hardly any, uh, mostly water and just bits of fuzziness. And I let that bleed into the background of the, uh, the background horse, 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 zebra. I know, you can say uh, horse, right? Uh, and that's very soft focus. And have you ever strong. painted a unicorn? Have you ever painted a unicorn? I've drawn unicorns. Um, you've drawn I, them, yeah, but you it, never painted it, it, them? It, in like potential fantasy art. I've always fancied myself as a as a concept fantasy art artist, but I'm just not good enough. So <laughs> I, uh, good enough I, 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 I've you're better at realism? But I don't know. It, it, You're better just, at realism it, it, than what, it, um, that, 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 that really high-end uh, fantasy art stuff that you see takes right. an awful lot of awful long time to... I mean, ideas and designs for characters within them can take months of design. So... The, oh, you know, okay. It's a lot of time investment. And no, uh, no, no, no. I'd, I'd like to have a go at doing something like that, a big project where you've got some sort of fantasy art illustration. I just know it's, it's that amount of time. That that's it. Well, I don't know, because I do like, fan I've done fantasy art, art journaling, mixed media painting, mm -hmm. um, digital art, and to me, that does not take longer than it does not take longer than realistic art. So, I don't I don't know if you're trying to copy something. Are you trying to copy like some gaming? No, no, no. 
yeah, the, you know, the, the things that you might see on gaming. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't do gaming stuff, but you're talking about, so you, when you say fantasy, I don't, I, don't mean, I, don't mean, I don't mean, I don't mean copying a gaming um, character, but the types of things that you might see on the covers of gaming, you know, very high. I, that I know that is a very that's a different kind of like fantasy kind of very sometimes mm. it's very detailed and it's very um, high end and it's very I, I mean the thing is I know the what you mean, the two are probably really large. I but I know that there's other kinds of fantasy kinds of artwork that's mm. not not like that. Oh no, you, I mean what level you you base your uh, a, a amount of detail is is really up to you, but. Um, if you're wanting to do a specific type of no, I create my um, own. Like I create my own. I've, I've I've created the series of like my own Mother Earth, my my, my hmm. own Mother Earth series, and how they are how are they depicted, and uh -huh. um, that that's that's that is that's fantasy and whatever and abstract fantasy and um and and it doesn't like take me longer than if I was to try to do something realistic. I don't know so. It doesn't take me months and months. It's like, Thanks, so in my art, in your art journal, and actually in your art journal, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that it's something that's going to hang on a wall. So, but I'm in digital and art journaling, mixed media. I've created tons of Mother Earth kind of depictions of Mother Earth mm -hmm. um, beings. Right. Sure. Yeah. Um, my next dilemma is, is do I split these two papers? Once that's absolutely completed, these are all on one sheet of paper, right? That one, what we did last week, and that one, what we've done today, do I split them up? Yeah, they don't, they, they can't go to get, they don't really go together. We'll have to devise a, a if, you were, if you weren't, what are you saying if you didn't split them? If you didn't split them up, they would be like. If they, if you didn't split them up, then are you looking yeah, to me? You were to sell it? Not necessarily, but I'm just saying, would they look nice together as a painting? Oh, I see what you mean. Kind of like so. Two paintings, just with a gap there down them or something. So well, what I'd have to do if well, we're going to do this again? I, 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 I mean. Find two things that have something in common, right? And and try and do one side one week, and then next yeah, week do yeah. That's an interesting week. concept. How, how do you see that the uh, zebra relates to the landscape? I mean, to the well, only, only thing only thing I can think of is basically the fact that nature, both, nature, and the both loose, which is a very tentative. Uh, t t is Just tentative. Leave it. so don't cut it right now because maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe so. Maybe somebody would like it like that, or, and they would want to buy it, or I don't know. I, mm. I don't know what you're like. Are you finished that? There's a lot to be done on it yet anyway. Before I go anywhere in here finishing it, it it's just I don't want to do any more before, or it'll start getting muddy. What what I've done. I say and, don't cut it. I say don't cut it because mm. uh, there could be somebody that could be interested in something like that that might want to buy it. I'm thinking in terms of like buying it or whatever. I have, I have, I have um, in the past done what they call triptychs. Right, triptychs. Right. You uh, would call uh, that a diptych. You say you would call that a diptych. Is that what it's called? With two? Yes. Well, if it's two together, it's called a diptych. Right. I didn't know that. I got a bit of a spillage there on there. Uh... Well, you didn't know that because I'm, let's see. What are you? You're 48. Yeah, I'm only about it, really. I'm nine years older than you, so I know some things. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to try and learn off you. Oh, dear. Huh? I'll have to try and learn off you. Yeah, we need to learn every now and then. Every now and then. Well, every I mean, now and then you might learn something. You, uh, you, you've been to university. I should be looking up at That's you and great. saying, give me, give me the. Give, exactly. give me, give me the art knowledge. 
I have three art degrees. I have my bachelor's and mm -hmm. I have my bachelor's degree in art, uh, my four year bachelor's degree in art. Then I have a, a, a I have a master's degree in art mm -hmm. education, mm -hmm. art education for K through 12. And then I have um, a MFA, which is master's in fine arts. And that, that qualifies you to teach college. Right. Oh. Are you a, are you a doctor? No, 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 no. They don't. They don't actually, uh, do they, they not let you become a doctor? No, oh, only some university. Not it's very not very common at all. The, the master's in fine arts is actually the terminal degree in the fine arts. But really? if you want to go to like if you want to go to like R Rochester in Institute of Technology (RIT), that um mm -hmm. I think they there's very few colleges around the country, like very very few mm -hmm. that. Um, actually, like maybe only three, three that offer the doctoral degree doctoral. in the fine arts. Because basically, wow. basically the master's degree, the MFA, yeah. the master's degree in fine arts is the terminal degree for the fine arts. Like you would have thought so, so though, the wouldn't doctoral you? degree is not the is very uncommon. So, it's very uncommon. So, so why like if if I went to university in USA, for example? Yeah. Uh, would 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 the person uh, teaching me be a doctor? No, most most um possibly. Or, or they have that inferred upon them as, as a art teacher. No, listen, art history is different. Like if if mm -hmm. you were like I took like you like if you were going to get your master's in fine arts, you have to take some art history, like I did. So my yeah. art history teacher, yes, she was a doc. She did get a doctoral degree because in art history, that's totally different. Yes, you get your doctoral degree but um in the mat in fine arts it's the master's degree the mfa is the terminal degree is most is the most mm. common terminal degree and mm. i i don't know what was your question well, again it, it, in in uk in uk uh i you can get is an ma and that's an additional extra year on top of a ba yeah and then and that yeah. qualifies you to teach in colleges uh, not necessarily. You have to go and do a separate uh, unit uh, to teach, not uh, me. and it's a te it's a teaching degree, although it's not a four year degree. It's a it, it, it's a short. It, it's basically a short course that's an additional unit. Wow, I were, if you know what I mean. Okay, that's different in the United States. You get the MFA, that's the Master's of Fine Arts, mm -hmm. that qualifies you to teach any kind of college level art class. Any right. kind of college level, anything at the college level. Right. Uh, 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 what do you call college? It doesn't you're, you're matter. Talking, you're not talking. It doesn't yeah, matter well, it's the university yeah. or college. It, right. it, college and university it doesn't matter if they offer um, the MFA. <laughs> the MFA can uh, the MFA could be offered at the college. At college, right. college is not less than university. It's the same. Right. It's not less. Right. It's not less at, than. At, at, uh, see, that's where it differs because in, in England, a right. college, all, although colleges can offer uh, BAs. And MAs, it's not normal. It's always done as a as an underwritten thing through a All university. Right, that's different than here. Uh, but if you want to go and do a proper university degree, uh, it has to be done at university. So that's the difference between a college. No, nope, we don't uh, have different. No, 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 no. In no the UK, it is. Oh, okay. you know what? Okay. There's something I want to show you before we go now. You know, I've been talking about my new brushes, Chinese brushes that I've been wanting to get, which you've seen one of them. I know you got one of them. Uh, that's that one. And it's lovely. I absolutely love it. Uh, and uh, if Did you use it today? You still here, Paul. These are the things that you've helped me to buy. So, oh, uh, that, that uh, I helped you to buy? That, that's, uh, yeah. Those of you who contributed uh, by purchasing a, a a painting of mine. A painting, okay. Uh, these are the things that I've been able to go out and buy. But obviously, I've got so I've got some other things on order as well that have not arrived yet. But I got that, which is a nice, a lovely mop brush. Uh, 
and I'm going to review that soon. And and these arrived this week. Look at that. What a weird brush that is. <laughs> Oh, Let me see. What is that? Oh my goodness! What we? That's only for something like huge, like a huge painting, yeah. right? It, it's um, it's for doing great big flat washers. Like a for a background. Yeah, for a background. Woof, 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 and you're done. Instead of having to faff about with it. And, uh, and what what is it you usually? Use? What's the other thing you usually use? Uh, uh well, you commonly you'd use uh. You'd, you'd use something like this, but it'd it take a lot of... You, you oh, that took a long time. Oh, no, to, wait a minute. In, in watercolour, you don't want to necessarily wet everything at the same time. You want to wet different shapes, different like different times. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's for doing precision. That's for doing precision work. So uh, you might want to do, like, a whole <laughs> background, and then you're going to wait for it to dry, and then you're going to go back in. Like, let, let, Let's set top end of that was sky or a big block of sky rather than faffing about with it with a small brush i've got this now and i can go voo, 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 and it's done three strokes and you're done uh, the less brush strokes you put into a watercolor painting the better right let the water do the movement and that's why big brushes like that uh, th there's a big there's, there's a movement throughout the world uh, called big brush watercolor painting and that's one of the brushes that you use really yeah yeah look at big brush watercolor are you, painting. are you going to be buying more japanese watercolor brushes yes i am absolutely I, I've, I've got several on order um right a, a, another one this is a, 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 a all right so that so this other one right similar kind of thing that that's a that that's a, a filbert in shape an oval and, and that's that's like a, a more squared off filbert so but this is a similar kind of thing but this is for more robust paint you could use that for a, acrylics you know that's more heavy bodied but they both do the similar kind of thing the, the cover large areas quick in one or two brush strokes and that's very long angle handled so these are two of the brushes that i've ordered and got that i got oh nice so both japanese well the, yeah they're from japan yeah that that's that's similar to a hake brush that one very similar okay uh, it's more like a decorating brush but it's a bit more if if you look at the it, 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 on on the chamfer on the edge, it, uh, it 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 has an angle, so it's obviously not a, a normal decorating brush. Oh, I but, have t I have eleven thumbs up. I didn't do I didn't do a um happy oh, thumbs up. Uh, I'm gonna quick do it. I'm gonna quick do oh, it. You, you you click yourself onto it then. What do you say? That you click yourself onto it then, and because uh, you click you, myself you, onto it. Well, no, you're not on at the moment, are you? I am on it. You have to switch your thing on. Switch my thing on. You have to. You have to switch your screen on. What's wrong? What's my That's screen? Oh, you I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Okay. To do the happy thumbs up dance for eleven, and then and then we're gonna leave. Yeah. Great. Um, all right then. Where are we? Wow, $80. Wow, Paul. I'd love to actually see a photo of that, Paul. But when you get it all up on the, the wall, that'd be nice. All right, have you gone? Not sure, have you gone? Uh, 
Hello. 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 I said goodbye anyway. I think I'm still on, but I think we've lost then. I'm not sure. <sighs> and uh oh Diana is 